Steven, I'm running late. Plug those rollers in. I'll see you in a couple minutes. Hey, bye. You know, everybody thinks my life is so exciting, and it is. I'm going to get my hair done by Stephen Knoll today, get an outfit for tonight's Vision Air Party from Badgley Mishka, and go to Nicole Miller's bridal campaign shoot with Antoine Verglas. So welcome to Behind the Velvet Ropes. Come on with me. Bergdorf Goodman, my favorite store. I love Bergdorf. I have unlimited credit there, it's a big problem. Oh, that's nice, Donna. I'd go out with a guy that was wearing that. Oh, I am now so desperate for my fraction of beauty. I'm going to the Stephen Knoll Beauty Salon where Stephen, who does Cindy, Elle, Bette Midler, Dale Haddon, everybody, he makes them look good. He's going to do the same thing for me, so come on. Ugh, my nail chipped. I can't even stand it. Ooh, the Stephen Knoll Beauty Salon where all your dreams come true. Ooh. Hey, girls. Look. Fabulous products. I need all of these. Let's see who he's doing today. Hey, oh my God, how are you? Hi. How you doing? Is it Steven, happening yet? it's happening, it's happening. Listen, I Karen. need your help. I'm like a mess. You have like 20 minutes. Is that, is that something new? You, do you believe he treats me? He's abusive. Come on. Come I need on, come 20 on. minutes you got. So what are you working on these days? Oh my god. I think I'm doing Cosmo cover on Thursday with Mariah Carey. Excellent. Do I look like Cindy? I know you do Cindy all the time. Yes, you look exactly like her. <laughs> Can you make me look like her? You know, okay. That's what I think about at night, is how much you look like her. Oh, it's miserable. Crazy. People make always say that. Good. They always say when you, when you come in, oh, was that Cindy that just left here? <laughs> you know, you're a wise guy. Well, you do, Cindy. You do everybody. Nail repair. That's good. It's okay? So, yeah, thank you. Judy is my manicurist. I don't know. Is this is he? I hope he's not done. Ha <laughs> ha. I hope this lasts, but if not, you'll have to um, touch me up at the party. Well, since when have I not met you someplace with a little comb and a I'm brush and, and a a big can of hairspray. A big can of hairspray. Ready to go. What's with that product, anyway? Oh, How's it going? It's doing incredibly well. Yeah, we're where in, can you get it? We're in Cosmetics Plus. We're in Zidimers. You know Zidimers. Everybody knows Zidimers. Everybody knows Zidimers. Very we're swanky. In, yeah, I'm very. There's six products. Six products. Every product says exactly what it does. Clean, silky, healthy, obedient, perfect, and totally amazing hair. Why don't you just send me a couple of cases wholesale? Because I'm on a budget. Forget I think you it. need about 100 cases. Ooh, vicious. I'm done. I look amazing. Wow, this looks fabulous. Thank you. It looks great. So you'll touch me up. Tonight. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm going to be there at 9 o'clock. Okay. Don't be late. You're always late. No, no, no. I'm going to be there Don't right be at 9 o'clock. What's the biggest, what's the biggest, this is a good question, what's the biggest fashion mistake that women make with their hair? I think that they do not take into account um, what they really look like. They don't take a serious look at themselves. Ooh, I'm looking good. Now it's time to get my dress at Badgley Mishka. Ooh, Badgley Mishka. They have little elves in the back making their dresses, and I'm gonna get one. A dress, not an elf. 
What's happening? It's like bridal week. All these beautiful dresses. I gotta get the man, then I'll get the dress. <laughs> Bachelor and Mishka is known for their beading and the quality of their chiffon. Oh, look at this. It's just like a confection. It's like a piece of candy. A lot of them are cut on the bias, so they just fit like a second skin. That makes all the difference. Look at this. How gorgeous. What woman wouldn't want to wear that? Look at this detail. It's just unbelievable. And they just make you feel like a princess which I love to feel like. Oh, love that. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Oh, this is a wedding gown? Unbelievable. Wow, fabulous. Hey guys, how are you? Good. Oh, thank you for doing this for me. Our pleasure. Good to see you. You too. Now I need a black lace dress because it's for Visionaire and the theme is black lace. In so, right I know. So take me back. Show me my fabulous choices. Ooh, I love it back here. Back this is where they the work. Scenes, the behind the scenes. We like that. Ooh. Wow. Beautiful. This is all fan pleated Chantilly lace. Sort of Spanish and feeling all loaded up with jet. Very sexy. Sort of ballerina neckline. This one's really sexy, Jet wow. Bodice and a oh, look at the back. Ooh. Crisscross back. Love that. How am I gonna decide? Okay, I'm gonna try them on. So you guys are gonna give me thumbs up or thumbs down? Okay? okay. You look great in all of them. Oh. Well, I'm sure I will, but I only get to pick one, okay? okay. Do you need anything else? Um, a husband, a new apartment. No, I'm okay. okay. We'll work on that while you get changed, okay? Good, go work on that. Okay, out, out, out. Ooh. Is this the Lady Godiva? It's pretty good. Love this. It's Thumb too beautiful. Thumbs up or thumbs down? I think it's the definite thumbs up. Love it. This is for fall? Uh huh. What else did you do for fall that I have to have, that I have to try on? I think the next one you're trying on is the best. This one's beautiful, but the next one's over the top, don't you think? Well, I feel really special. Why do other women feel so special in your dresses? I think it's because they're glamorous, but they're still young and sexy. The fabrics are really over the top, and the embroideries are very important, but the, the cuts are usually quite simple, modern, very stark. They're still real modern, but they're very fancy. It's all about glamour, isn't it? Absolutely. Still. For us, it's all about it glamour. Always is. You dress just about everybody. We've done a lot of celebrity dressing, and it's incredible what that does for name recognition. I always underestimated it, and it really does a lot. Name names. Who was just at your show? You just did um, Ashley Judd, mm -hmm. uh, Sharon Stone, who I know I've interviewed. She came over because she loved my Back to the Miska dress. Oh, um, great. Who else? Why, do I, why am I doing this? Tell me. Winona They're so Ryder. shy. Winona Ryder. Yeah, she's Ooh. great. Terry Hatcher, you know, our girls. Mm -hmm. So what are women going to be wearing for fall? I think women are excited about getting dressed up again, and, and, and they want to go out and have fun. So the clothes are, are very embellished, very important, and, and super luxurious and glamorous. Well, I was flipping out because you had real jewelry from Fred Layton on top of their heads. I needed, I almost went and snatched one off. <laughs> so did some of the models. I, well, you had the top models. Who? Who'd you have? Like Shalom? N name names. Claudia Schiffer, yeah. Yasmin Gori, um, Kylie Baxton. They love your dresses, and they wear them in real life, too. Okay, well, I'm going in to try on number two. Great. I'm gonna make a decision. I'm very confused because I love this. I like all of them. Okay, I'll be back. Wow. I think this is it, guys. Ooh. This is definitely a little rib cage. Is it, did, is it totally closed? Did I gain weight? Yeah, I only ate a lettuce leaf today. Give me a break. <laughs> It's a great length on you. I love this. It's very Spanish. Yeah. Love that. Love that. Well, this is it. So I'm taking it. Okay? It looks great. All right. Thank you. I know you're busy. I'll let you go back to work. Thank you. See you soon. 
Wow, I'm exhausted and the day isn't even half over. We're now gonna go see Nicole Miller's bridal shoot with Antoine Burglass. Come on. We're at Studio One, New York City. Let's see what's going on. Hey girls, how are you? Good. A lot of things happening here today, huh? Hey, I'm good. Oh, snacks. You know, we love snacks here at Behind the Velvet Ropes. Mmm, good stuff. Excellent. Look at this spread. Wow, Miss Nicole Spears, no expense. And I guess models really do eat. I like that. I'm going to have some of this after. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, I'm Lauren. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I love to get a kiss. I'm very friendly. Famous photographer Antoine Burgler shoots everything from Victoria's Secret to celebrity portraits with stars like Elizabeth Hurley and Jean Triplehorn. His work also appears in top magazines such as GQ, Details, and the international edition of Elle. The high the velvet ropes likes gossip. Who's easy to work with, real models or celebrities? Give us the gossip. I think every every celebrity has a has a personality, has their own personality, you know. So some models can be very difficult to work with. Ooh. Some celebrities can be very easy, you know, and it can be the opposite also, you know. It's like can you, you never know you never know who you're gonna get, you know. Are you gonna tell me which models are gonna be difficult or are you gonna be tactful? No, who is a pain in the butt? Come on, give me one name, just one. Just one. I never had a problem, really, with, uh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, he's so being boring. nice. I'm going to get the dirt later, and I'm going to tell you guys, OK? How are you? Yeah, Do I get a kiss? Hey. hey. Why do you want to mess up your makeup? <laughs> tell me what's happening. Why are you doing this bridal shoot? Bridals well, are a big thing. The bridesmaids business is booming. It's like going like mad and we're into our about our fifth little bridesmaid catalog. This is now this is not bridesmaid. Uh, yeah, it's bridesmaid. This is bridesmaid. Now this is a nice bridesmaid. Usually bridesmaids are not that nice. They are teal taffeta and frou frou and sharing and ruffles, right? And exactly, and hideous. And this is so elegant and tasteful. Well, a lot of people have lost friends over the <laughs> bridesmaids dresses they made their bridesmaids wear. So I think that this is like a refreshing new change. It's mm -hmm. a new alternative because Bridesmaids have traditionally been wearing very scary dresses. <laughs> but this dress, you can wear this even if, you, if you're a bridesmaid, you can wear this after. You can wear this oh, yeah. out at a party. Yeah. And what a lot of people do is because they still feel like a bridesmaid in it because they wore it to a wedding, mm -hmm. they cut it off mm -hmm. and then make it a short dress mm -hmm. and then they have a whole new look and they feel like mm -hmm. they have a new dress. Well, this is so beautiful. And they're, they're not cheap, but they're not prohibitive. They're not so expensive that they're prohibitive. What's so. not cheap? Well, they're around... Girls on a budget. No, I know, but they're around like 250 The mm -hmm. low end is 210 The high end is about $500. Very reasonable. I want to talk about your campaign. I just think it's so incredible. I can look at an image, like on a phone. I see them all on the phones, on uh, buses. The tiger dress, right? Yes, and I just look at it, and I know I don't even have to see the name. It's, it's Nicole right. Miller. And this is kind of new for you to do a campaign like this. You know, why did you decide to do that? Because you, you always have sold. It's like you didn't really need to do one. You mean we didn't need to do advertising? You didn't really need to do advertising because right. you just well, sell your stores. a couple of years ago, and it was very successful. And so we just you know, branched out and tried something a little more racy this year. Well, you're known for your prints. Now, you do those prints every season. There's always some new print. But you know what? It's funny. Everybody thinks I do, but we don't sell that many. Mm -hmm. I mean, the tiger dress. Mm -hmm. We sold a lot of the tiger dress, but I sold a lot more black dresses than I did the tiger dress. Mm -hmm. What else are you working on? Because you do shoes now, bridles, ready-to-wear, swimwear. What about cosmetics? You do a perfume. We have a new perfume coming out in February. Wow, what about this? Oh, it's going to be great. I mean, very modern. But you, you're a hands-on girl. You do oversee everything. Yeah, I'm absolutely. I'm in there every day. What's it like to be a mother, wife, and workaholic designer? Well, not enough time in the day. Is it a problem? No. I mean, I don't go to as many things. I really am very selective about what I do at night because mm. it's my home time. Hey. Soho. I love Soho. Good shopping. Hey. I love Baguda because they have all the latest designers. Galliano, Dolce Gabbana, Antonio Berardi. Just you name it, they have it. 
So they called me to have some new stuff and so of course I have to shop. So what do I need? I need everything. Leopard, very popular for fall. Oh, how sexy is this? I need that. I need that for shopping at my D'Agostino. This is day wear for me. I would wear this in a heartbeat. How gorgeous is that? What woman wouldn't want to wear that? Love it. Even Misty would look good in this. Misty, Misty is the pooch head, the door person of the day. Hey, Misty, come here, sweetheart. You're so pretty. Where's the Galliano? Love Galliano. Oh, they sold everything already. Hey, wait, this looks like it goes with my outfit. Whoa, I might need that. It does. It does. Same thing. It's exactly same thing. I got some here and some elsewhere. I know you, Beverly D'Angelo. I love your work. Thank you. Can I talk to you? What? Yeah, sure. I have terrible taste. No, you don't. You oh, look no. good. Oh, what is this? This is Sandy Pell. She's an Oscar-nominated uh, costume designer. Wow. What movies Orlando, did you do? She was nominated for that. She did The Crying oh, Game, yeah. Michael Collins. Uh, wow. Vampire. Vampire. Interview with a vampire. Well, yeah. 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 Excellent. So wait, yeah. so is, what do you mean you have terrible So is that why you're I shopping together? No, we're shopping no, together because we're, just we're great friends, anyway. but I have awful taste. But you look good. What are you talking about? The shoes are working. The socks the look socks? fabulous. This is a look. Do I, but this is a look. It's a look. You guys look good together. We do? Yeah. <laughs> well, what are you buying now? Let me see. Like, no, show me what, I don't know. what are you considering? I was saying, oh, goodness. You know, I, love, I, I love Gautier. You know, but look, he's, he's kind of gotten a bit more... He looks Classic. substantial, doesn't he? I mean, it's, where's the fun? This is fun. This, but this is fun. Looks, look, this could be very tasteful. Well, wait a minute. Did you see the Dolce Gabbana? I was just no, looking at it. Yeah, the Dolce Wait, oh, wait Honey, a minute. You should you... put the... Wait, no, no, no. Come here. Wait, you need... No, you need, like... This is what... Hey! Oh, we're shopping. Oh, the cameras are rolling. People... Oh, my goodness. Oh, so this dress is cut. This is Dolce Gabbana. This is cut to go right under... The, it's a very high waist, right under the bust line. It looked fabulous on you. But, I mean, nobody else could wear that. What do you wear on top, Beverly? Nothing. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> okay. What are you doing in New York? Are you working on anything we should know about? I just finished doing this movie called Illuminata that John Turturro wrote Love directed. Him. Yeah. Great clothes. But you did this movie where you played this strange woman in, like, Ireland, in this, like, seaside Sandy country. Sandy did the costumes. The, the Miracle. Miracle. Th that was such a great movie. Oh, thank you. You're in great stuff. Oh, thanks. Great stuff. Well, you're in great stuff, too. Well, I know. That's why I <laughs> shop here. Hello. <laughs> you have to try okay. something on for us. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. no. Okay, we're going to let her go back and shop. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Come here. This is Mark, the owner of Baguda. Come here. Huh? I need to talk to you. How do you get all these amazing women to shop in your store? We try to do the right thing. How, and try how to get the right styles, the right designer. Merchandising, marketing is right. You know. Now, you just opened up this huge upstairs for men. That's true. So are men getting more fashionable now? Because I like my men to look good when I have uh, one. I think men are out of their jeans for a minute. Uh, for hopefully five minutes at yeah. least. I think men are more into, even even rappers are getting dressed more, uh, rock singers are getting dressed more. So what should I look at for your fabulous designs um, now? Well, the newest. actually, I'm here to publicize Wings of the Dove, which opens in November. I just saw that. You've seen you it? You did that? Yeah. It was wonderful. And I was like, oh my god, I love this, the hats, the yeah. costumes, so beautiful. Did you make that? Do you make those or you just find them? No, everything's made. She's so a designer. But how I do don't make them myself. I don't stitch them. No, 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 no. She designs it. She draws it. But I, 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 you can't, you don't, you can't find design. things from like 1910. <laughs> but no, that's the thing. I was, a lot of people are buying vintage. When I go to flea markets, I see every designer yeah. there. And that's how they get inspired. you got to win an Oscar for your costumes. Oh, Wings of the Dove, unbelievable movie, unbelievable costumes, incredible acting. I was just blown away by that. It was really wonderful. So thank you very much thank for you. talking to us. You never know who you're going to bump into at Baguda, see? All right, I'm going home. i got to get ready for tonight. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I know you. You're a model. I know you. I've seen you on the runway. I've seen her. You know. OK. Bye, honey. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Call me when you get some new stuff. I've got my Stephen Knoll hairdo, my Badgley Mishka dress, and I'm on my way to the Visionaire party. And of course, I have my Moet Chandon. I never leave home without it. My Amex I leave without, but never my Moet Chandon. So I'll see you there. Step on it. 
Oh my god, this is hard work. I'm telling you. It's for a new television show. We're here. And we're going behind the velvet rope. Thank you. How's it going? Oh, everybody looks so good. Black I mean, lace, yeah, hello. That's the theme, isn't it? It is, and we all have to be dressed for the exactly. occasion. Black lace and champagne. Ah, oh, so let's see who's here. Okay. Hey, hey. Benjamin Liu, fabulous PR person. <laughs> who's here? What celebrities? I'm so excited. Oh, it's all the top models, top styles, top fashion designers, top photographers, top, top editors, top, top, and top. <laughs> we can't. We can't top that. Well, we're going up, so I'll see you later, honey. Okay. I'm with Stephen Gann, Cecilia Dean, and James Caliardos, the creators of Visionaire magazine. First of all, Cecilia, that dress is like beyond. Whose is it? Christian Lacroix Haute Couture, of course. Couture. Couture is my first couture. You are a lucky girl. <laughs> Flown in from Paris. I'm so jealous, but I love my Bachelor Mishka. It's OK. <laughs> so now, Visionaire has captured the imagination of the fashion community. Why do you think that is? I think it's because we never started out with any boundaries of what it should be. Each issue changes dramatically with theme and format. We work with different artists and they do whatever they want. And uh, we don't really um, have a lot of commercial boundaries with advertising and things like that that other magazines do. So it sells primarily as an art book. And doing an art book, you have much more leeway. You have three unique individuals. How do you decide what to do? Um, we, we all just sort of, I mean, luckily, we all kind of have very similar tastes. It has to do with fashion, even some of our issues that have had no fashion in them. It's something that is sort of fashionable at the moment, and we decide to do it. Everything's very, very equal, and that's a great thing about Visionaire. It's a lot of equality. But Cecilia um, has us under tight rope. Women always rule. <laughs> they do. Yeah, Lady Bunny's ruling the dance floor right now. <laughs> I know, we all have to do a dance. I'm with the very stunning, very glamorous, and don't forget, very talented Lady Bunny. <laughs> Hello, Lauren. How are you? I'm fine. Now, you delighted oh, to be oh, here oh, oh, for the party this evening at Maxime's. Would you believe it's my first visit? I would not believe that, because I think that you would dine <laughs> and drink here all the time. Well, you'd think so. They'd let me in. Well, they did, obviously. <laughs> Only because I'm working here tonight. What are you doing here tonight? Lauren, I'm doing an interview. Have you been drinking? Actually, I have. Oh, again? No, I'm DJing tonight. All right, gorgeous. I've seen you every day. You wear a different dress. Oh, well, Lauren. Gotta, girls got to look good. <laughs> Surely, with your knowledge of fashion, you wouldn't expect me to repeat an ensemble. I would not. Is she going to be tooed or what? Okay. I would never dream of it. Anyway, honey, here's the you. visionaire, Moe and Maxine. Thank you, honey. Cheers. Love you. Oh, hey. Excuse me. Hey. Wow. How are you, Richard? It's Richard Martin from the Metropolitan Museum and Nancy Knox from Isimiyaki. I want to know why both of you think this magazine is so special. Nancy goes first. Ladies first. It's got a unique niche. It's it takes a different approach from everybody else, and I like that. I think Nancy said it. It's about every other magazine seems to be more or less the same, and everything about Visionaire is different. Well, you dare also at the Met to do something different. I mean, all of your exhibits have been extremely unusual and stylish and trendy, which usually the Met is not known. It's a little stodgy. Oh, did you notice that? I noticed that. I noticed that. Oh, you never noticed. Supposed it. to be a really, really avant-garde institution. I guess I got it all wrong. You know, everyone here is giving me a hard time. I can't take these fashion people. I'm out of here. Excuse me. Okay. Thanks, guys. You're the co-host of this party. Why is Solstice Lace sponsoring this? Um, I got involved with Christian Lacroix, who is participating in the Visionnaire uh, magazine issue of Chic, and um, he said. There's only one lace company, it's Solstice, so I want Solstice to be in the book. And then Cecilia came to me and said, would you like to be the cost of the evening? And I said, well, fantastic. 
Linda Wells, Miss Allure magazine. Looking kind of sleepy, yeah? No, well, you're a mud. I'm here with all these drag queens. It's a little, I need a stud and a test. You fit in. You look fabulous. Why are you here at this Visionaire party tonight? Why well, I mean, who doesn't look forward to Visionaire every day? But Mario Testino is a god. He'd be the first to tell you that, too. That but I <laughs> modest. But he's so great. He's so talented. I will do anything. If he is there, I'll, I'll be right there fanning his flames. Oh, Steven. Steven, no. Hey. Oh, my God. Are you holding up or falling apart? I'm holding up. Well, do I not look good with my Steven Noll hairdo? I think you could use a little something. No, I'm loving it the way it is. A woman's work is never done. Oh, that's nice. I look so good, I can't even stand it. You know what? I can't stand it either. All right, I'm out of here. Goodbye, Goodbye. baby. <laughs> Mario! Mario is so busy. I need him. He's working. I need you, baby. How are you? This party is in your honor. No, it's in the honor. Well, is it? No, it's yes. for Visioner. Official. For the hard work that they do. Well, how did but you... it's kind of them to it's say that. It's for you. Honor. Come on. <laughs> Face up. Best up. So, how did you get involved with them? You know, years ago, I started working for them. They just one day asked me, and I felt very privileged to be asked. So. Ever since then, I've always contributed to them. I think they're incredible. You know, they're always saying, no, you have to go more, more, more. They like to push the button. Yeah. What are you doing? He's working as he's doing an interview. I love it. You know, I always work. It's just, uh, it's my life. Well, I love my Gap ad. You know, you did. <laughs> of I, course. But my face wasn't even showing. Oh, darling. You have to do another one. Because it's Vittorio Missoni. Missoni, come on, Missoni. Is it Missoni? Yes. Did you, desi did you design this? My sister did it. Your sister? <laughs> well, what do you do? What do you do for the company? Other than look good and wear the clothes. Yeah, look good, wear the clothes. No, no, I do, I, well, I do my job and business, I do business, you know? Mm. I'm with Cynthia Rowley. Someone just stole your cocktail. I know, and I, I can't talk to you unless I have a drink, really. Get over it. You're going to have to do it because I need a gone. good stiff one to talk to you, Lauren. No, I'm just... Why does everyone love Visionaire Magazine? Oh, because it's like so totally inspired and so beautiful and it's like not like anything you've ever seen before. It's like a Mario Testino portfolio of all these cultural artifacts, like a piece of Madonna's dress. I sniffed it. Um, <laughs> what did it smell like? I licked it actually. <laughs> Kinky. It smelled like Carlos Leon. Oh, gross. You know, he's in the other room and he has his camera. I think you should go in and get your photo taken. Oh, I, I have to go and say I'm not worthy. You are worthy. Where is he? He's in the other room. Is, right there, is there a bar on the way? There's a bar. There's a bar. Have a cocktail, honey. Okay. Thanks, Michael. Why do you think that they get all these incredibly talented people like Mario to work for, like, no money? I think that, um, well, A, they could charm the birds off the trees. They're such a great trio. And I think that they have such high standards and the product is so controlled and stylish and I think anyone would really want to be a part of it. Wow! Woo! It's been an amazing day and a fabulous evening. I want to thank you for joining me on my very first episode of Behind the Velvet Ropes. And thanks, Moetje and Don't. I love you.